Hello my friends. Welcome to Rain Francis Art. My name is Rain. Today I'm going to show you how to paint these beautiful watercolor balloons as we do another art therapy session. So let's begin. These are the supplies that you'll need for today's art therapy session. I'm using Strathmore watercolor paper. It's cold press and it's 140 pounds. For paints, I'm using my pan paints. The brand is pretty excellent. These are very vibrant and if you know me, if you've watched my channel before, you know I love these paints. I'm going to be using purples and blues and maybe a pink today. I'm not sure. I'm going to see about the pink. And if I have decided to use pink, I have a little palette here because I'll have to mix a little red and white together. As for brushes, I've pulled out a few of them. I've got a number two round brush, a number four round brush, my liner brush, and I have another round brush. I don't know what size it is because the writing has worn off over the years and I don't remember, but it seems to me it's probably about a number 10. Okay, and I have pulled out my pack of dollar store crayons. I've got the white one handy and I'm going to show you what I do with that. I also have some watercolor pencils. These are optional. You don't need these. I like to outline and sketch my watercolors, uh, watercolor paintings. So I use watercolor pencils to do that. I've got pink, blue, and purple. You could also use coloring pencils or you can use a regular pencil. I have a couple of dishes of clear water, some paper towel, and I think that's it. So I'm going to clear up my space here and we can start. I watched a video on how to draw balloons and it looks like a lot of fun. So I'm going to start by sketching. I'm going to start by sketching, let's see, some blue balloons. And I'm just basically doing round shapes. Actually, I'm just going to do a few circles. I'll do three blue ones. You don't have to do this. And I'm sure it's very hard to see with the bright lights, but it's going to help me do this. I'm going to do some purple balloons as well. and they're overlapping each other in some cases. And yes, I guess I'll do some pink, <laughs> just a few pink. Overlapping. I think that's all right. Right, so I've got things sketched out. I'm going to start by doing, let's see. I'm going to start by doing my purple balloons. I have four of these. And I've got my paints here. I always recommend that you do a swatch. That way you'll know what your colors look like on the paper that you're using. I have three purpley type of colors here. I'm going to use this one here, the third one. It just seems a little more transparent and that's kind of what I'm looking for. But before I do that, I'm taking my white crayon and I'm going to just fill in. You won't be able to see this, but I'm doing a little bit of, let's say, long cylinders and then a little kind of circle at the bottom on each balloon. This is going to give the highlight of the balloon. And the water should resist it. because these crayons are wax, right? This is the first time I'm doing this, so. I think I got everything. Did I get this one? I think I got them all. Okay, I am going to take my number four round brush and start with the purples. 
I'm doing wet on wet. So I'm just going to put in some water into my purple balloon. And I'm going to kind of erase that blue there on the side where it overlapped. I'm sorry if you can't see that. But basically I overlapped a couple of balloons. And with the water I'm erasing the outline of the blue and the, per and the pink balloon here. So my balloon is nice and wet here. I'm going to go in with a wet brush into that purple color right into my pan and I'm loading up my brush with purple and I'm just tapping in some water, uh, some paint into that balloon. Watercolor will always follow water. So that's what the wet on wet technique does. It gives you a space where the water can go so it's not going to bleed out. And let's see if that crayon did anything here. No, it didn't. <laughs> How silly. Okay, that's all right. You know what? cleaning off my brush and I'm just going to go over that area here. I'm going to lift off some of that paint with a clean, dry brush. What a shame. I saw that technique and I thought it would work. Oh well, that's okay. Now I'm just pulling off some of that paint. I want it to be a little bit transparent. Oh, that's a shame about the, um, the crayon. I really thought that was going to work. I'm sorry, guys. But that's okay. You know what? We can pull it off. Pull it off because we do want to have a little bit of a highlight. And what I'm going to do is I'm putting a little bit more water at the bottom of that balloon. With a wet brush, I'm going back into my pan and I'm just going to tap some purple down there and maybe up the side a little bit with a clean dry brush I'm just blending that a little bit clean dry brush blending because I want a little bit of a dark edge there okay so that's done. We're going to go for it and do the same thing on all the other purple balloons. I've got four to do here. Putting all the water inside of the outline that I did back into the purple and I'm going to cover that entire area. If you follow my ch channel, the last art therapy video that I did was we were drawing cherries and I was talking about the situation in my home with my pets where we had an incident where the cats um, got violent and attacked my husband and cut him up real bad. Oh, the crayon is working on this one. Look at that. That's great. That was uh, almost two weeks. Well, was it two weeks ago? Yeah, almost two weeks ago. And his wounds are healing very well. I'm just lifting off some of that paint. But now what we have had to do is we 
have to separate the dogs from the cats and the cats from each other for the rest of their lives, unfortunately, but that's the way it is. I'm not happy about that situation because we used to have a very, very peaceful home with six pets, but when three of our pets died over the winter, I think it created a lot of stress for the cats and cats have displaced aggression and they just took it out on the first thing or person that came by. So that was the dogs and my husband. So we're not taking any chances anymore. And it's weird because, you know, our tabby cat, when he's with my husband, he's perfectly at peace. And our ginger cat, when he's with me and the dogs, he's perfectly at peace. They just cannot be together, which is too bad. So, as you can see, whoops, I almost lost my brush there. The crayon worked here because the paint didn't want to stick there. So that worked. I'm pretty happy about that. Going back to the other two, I'll start with this one since I'm right-handed. Just applying wet on wet, which is water first and then wet paint. Wet on wet. So my dream of, you know, being Snow White with all her animal friends around her all the time in peace <laughs> ain't gonna happen. Too bad. But you know what? We found a way for them all to live here, at least, even if they're separated all the time. They all seem to be very happy now. There we go. Let's see if the uh, crayon worked on this one. Yes, it did. Maybe I just forgot to put crayon on that one. It's possible. Because you can see these two spots here where the wax repels the, um, the watercolor paint. So that's kind of neat. Just adding more paint to the bottom here. the side and I'm going to lift a little bit of that paint off just in some areas and blend. There we go. Oh, there's a little too much paint in there. All right, continuing doing this one and I'm going to erase that little pinky part there. You know, I read um, a quote recently that says, everyone's journey is different. Don't ever compare yourself to anyone else's path. And, or don't compare your path to anyone else's. And that's so true, but it's also true within us. What I was doing and what was upsetting me very much was that I was thinking of the last five well, not five, the last um, seven years where we had all of our pets. They were all getting along for the most part. You know, there were some squabbles here and there. But I was comparing that to my life now. And I was just thinking how somehow I failed. I failed my pets somehow. I didn't give them what they needed. And they showed me in a very violent way that they didn't have what they needed. And I was really down on myself for a long time there. You know, I was pretty upset about the whole thing. And I, you know, took blame and, oh. But then I kind of came to my senses a little bit and I realized, you know what, no, what, don't, don't compare your life now to what your life was, Rain. And then, that's true for a lot of situations, right? 
people who get married and they had a great first couple of years and all of a sudden maybe things get complacent, maybe things get a little tedious, maybe there's resentment built up and they think, you know what, it used to be so good and now it's not. You, you have to stop thinking that way. You can't compare what's going on in your life now to your old life ever. Because things constantly change in life, right? You have to adapt or you're going to you're going to drown. I hate to say it, but that's the truth. Okay. This is dry. I'm going to try something radical. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of crayon here and see what happens when I add more purple. I wanted to add water first. That was a mistake of mine there. Okay, it worked. Did it? This balloon is a little bit uh, fussy, eh? There we go. Very fussy. That's all right. All right, I'm going to start with, let's see. I do want my purple balloons to be dry before I start going over the other ones because a lot of them are interconnecting. But I'm going to start with this blue and this blue here. I'm using the same purple water and I'm going to put wet on wet water first and then wet paint. Now I have to choose my blue. I think I'm going to go with this one. It's very pretty. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Loading up my brush there. Tapping some blue in there. My dogs are snoring in the background. Let's see if this, okay, so the crayon worked there. I think I just forgot to put it in that one. There was a time there when um, I was a little bit lost on my path. You know what? I'm going to, actually, I'm going to just take a little bit more of that blue. And put a little darker blue down at the bottom here. And I was sort of following the path of this woman who I thought was a friend of mine. And I sort of just kind of did what she did, <laughs> which sounds so silly, but you know, if, if I'm just making this up right now, just to give an example, but if, if she bought, you know, a red dress, I would have bought a red dress. If she bought a blue purse, I would have bought a blue purse, you know, like I didn't have any identity with her. It was weird. It was the only time that's ever happened to me. And uh, what ended up happening, unfortunately, was that uh, she kind of turned on me and I opened up to her about something really, really private and she just basically gave me an ultimatum to do it her way or be her friend, one or the other. Do it her way and... Or not be her friend is what I should say. But at least I was strong enough at that point and told her to go fly a kite, you know. I was following her path. And I realized after how really I was following her path. And oh my gosh, I was kind of, I don't want to say disgusted with myself, but just it's, it's interesting, you know, how certain people come into your life and you lose your identity with them. It's, it's an interesting concept. I'm very interested in psychology and that's, uh, that's a weird thing for me. 
to have gone through losing my identity like that around her. No more of that, that's for sure. I'm just pulling off some paint here. Anyway, that just goes back to, you know, don't compare your path with anyone else's. You can admire someone's path, but don't lose your identity in the process. Not good. Just trying to pull some of that paint off of the area where the crayon was. Over here too, I forgot to do that. Getting that wet again and pulling that off with a bit of a dry brush. Okay. So that's doing okay. I'm going to, I'm going to have to pause the video because I really need my balloons to dry at this point. So I may bring out the hair dryer just to dry them. While my balloons are drying, I'm actually going to draw the little, what are they called? Where you blow, blow the air in the ends, I guess, of the balloon. Just gonna draw those out just so I don't forget that I have to put those in. And I'm using my watercolor pencils to do that. I cannot um, blow up balloons. <laughs> I can't faint. <laughs> That's not easy for me. I pulled out my hair dryer to dry these balloons because I wanted to keep going. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to finish that blue one that's kind of overlapping. Actually, got a little bit of water there. There we go. Oh, I ripped my paper. Oh well. I didn't think I was pressing that hard. So I'm just doing wet on wet again, applying water on the inside of that balloon. And I'm going to top it with that blue color, that really nice blue color. And I'm going to just hold on a second. I made a little mistake there that I'm going to fix right away with a wet paper towel with clean water. Let's get rid of that blue spot there. Okay. Now I can continue. I think that it's hard sometimes to find your path in life. When I was younger, and when I say younger, you know, I was in my 20s and early 30s. I thought that my path in life was that I was going to have a really high-powered career, make a lot of money, and work for retirement, basically. That's, that's really what I, that's, I guess a lot of people are sort of conditioned that that's how life is supposed to be, right? That you work until you're 65 years old and then you retire and you enjoy your retirement years. You work yourself half to death <laughs> and then enjoy the how many years you might have left if you're lucky enough to live to that age, right? We never know. Just removing a little bit of that watercolor. I'll blend that in. And with a clean dry brush, I'm just getting rid of that. Some of that white. Some of the blue in that white area, I should say. So yeah, that's what I thought it was all about. And I ended up burning out. <laughs> Silly me. And um, I got a little bit of blue. I see I'm not... Uh, can't multitask. I'm not paying attention. I'm chattering away. 
and I'm getting blue dots everywhere. I can't be perfectionist today. I have to just relax. We have to relax. This is art therapy. So yeah, that's what I thought it was all about and I ended up burning up burning out at work because I was also I had the disease of people pleasing, which is horrible. I hope none of you have that. You do everything for everybody else. You nearly kill yourself to get uh, some kind of recognition that you probably won't get and uh, you're the one who suffers. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is the pinks. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to put a little bit of water on one area of my palette here. And I know you probably can't see this very well. I'm going to choose a little bit of red and I'm going to put that in the water here and I'm going to add more pigment. All right. This is hard for me to do. I have such a small space here. So I'm going to clean off my brush, try to get all that red off it. And off camera, off camera, I'm going to add a little bit of white, okay? Because I can't hold everything up in, I need three or four hands to do this. So I've got my brush loaded up with white, and I'm just going to try to make a nice pink. Oh, I like that. That's a nice pink. Okay, that's a good pink. I'm just adding a little more water to that. Nice. I want to keep the pink on my brush because I didn't, I don't have that much paint on my palette. So I'm just going to take a clean brush with my number two brush. Doesn't matter. I'm just taking another brush with clean water and I'm going to fill in the water in that pink balloon area. Now I'm going to fill in that pink. And I'm going to do that for this one and this one. So after I burned out, I've mentioned this many times, it, it took me about 10 years to start feeling better. And during that time, I was trying to find myself. I didn't know who I was without the identity of you know, the title of my job. It was crazy. I was working in finance and it was so stressful and it was a man's business. I, I'm just telling you straight up, it was the stock market and it was, at least back then, it wasn't a woman's, you know, domain. It was very cutthroat and you, your emotions could not get in the way and we women are emotional. If your emotions got in the way, you were in trouble. So that's one thing I couldn't stand about it. Couldn't be myself. <laughs> I had to be cutthroat. I didn't like that about myself. So I went into different areas, tried to see if I liked to do different things. And I just couldn't figure out who I was. I'm going to leave that like that. All right, now that my brush is wet and clean, I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush to fill in water here, wet on wet, in this purple, in this pink balloon here in the middle. And I have to say, even when I started my relationship, which was just over nine years ago, um, I still didn't know who I was. I felt like I didn't have an identity. But over the years, I opened myself up more to new things and I discovered that I really loved art. I really loved art and I loved to create. I always loved animals. I loved nature and being outside. 
And my life sort of evolved into what it is today, which is I'm super happy. I have a home in rural New Brunswick in Canada. I have four pets, though they don't all get along. That's okay. Soon I'll be having, hopefully, chickens and goats and maybe mini horses. Hoping for that. I'm creating art that I love and it's very therapeutic. I'm just taking off some of that paint in the white areas. There we go. One more balloon here. And as far as my spirituality goes, I'm super happy about my belief system and I'm, I just, I couldn't be happier, honestly. And it just sort of happened naturally in my 40s and 50s. I'm happy for those of you who have found yourself earlier, <laughs> earlier in years, that is. I didn't. It took me a long time. I tried to follow many different people's paths. I compared myself to their journeys and it just, you know, I can't do that. Because it's not your journey. And you'll never ever be satisfied if it's not your journey. The middle is drying up a little here. I'm just going to add a little more water and then some more paint. Okay, and I'm going to remove some of that. I think there's a little down here. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to work on those little ends. Why don't I work on the pink ones first since I've got pink on my brush? I'm still using my number four, by the way. I don't think I need a smaller brush for this. And I'm putting some of that dark at the bottom here. There we go. A little dark down there. I'm going to do the same thing with a little bit of a wet brush. I'm running out of the pink here. But this watercolor does go a long way. I love it. Put some in there. Okay. Now this one's hidden, so that's all right. But now we can go back into the blues and the purples. Why don't I start with the blue? I'm just going to move my water around a little bit here. Okay. With a wet brush into that purple color. I, did, I just said let's start with the blue and I went right into the purple. So how about we start with the purple? That's a little too dark. Let's get some of that out. Since this is dry, I'm just going to wet the bottom of the balloon. And I'm going to put some of that purple into the bottom of the balloon here. And blend that a little better. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll start up here actually. I'm putting a little water into the bottom of that balloon. Oops, a little drop there. Just a little bit inside the stem. I don't even know what that's called, the stem of the balloon, the end of the balloon. Let's just dot a little bit of dark in there and... Blending that in a little bit better. There we go. 
I'll do the same for the other, the two other purple ones and the three blue ones. So I guess what I mean to say <laughs> is that everybody's path is different and don't be so concerned about getting it all together quickly when you're younger. Life is all about experiences, right? We only go around once and we have to experience all that life has to offer us. That's how I feel. You know, I'm very much a um, seize the day type of person. I'm just making this balloon a little rounder because it looks a little weird there. And I'm going to blend this dark up a little bit better. Okay. Adding some wet here. I always say adding some wet. Of course, I mean water. So yeah, try different things. If you're not happy with something, don't keep doing it. You only live once. Enjoy the time you have. Enjoy the people in your life if you want to. Some people don't, like I'm, I'm more of a hermit. You know, I love to be around the people who I choose to be around. But I'm really, really a hermit. I'd be very happy just, you know, being on my own most of the time. But that's because I found myself and I know who I am. Just getting some of that blue color here. And I am very, very happy with myself and my life and all the choices that I've made. And I really am. I don't have any uh, insecurities or doubts or anything like that that I had when I was much younger. And just so you know, I'm, I'm in my mid-50s here as I make this video. <laughs> Carpe diem. All right, this one's going to be interesting because it's overlapping the pink. So let's see if I don't make a mess with this one. All right. Into that blue. Ah, that's good. You see, when it's... Um, when it's really dry, you can do layers. See, that pink is super dry, so it's not bleeding into the pink. It's just really creating a nice layer on top of it. All right, so we've got our balloons done here. I am just going to grab, I think, my liner brush. This is a nice liner brush. Once you get it wet, look at the tip on that. I don't know if you can see that. Here, look at it. That's a nice tip on that. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start with the pink because it's the lightest color. And I think I have a little bit left here. And I'm gonna draw strings on the balloons. All right, now this one I'm imagining is coming down here. Like that. And they're all gonna come together. See how amazing that liner brush is? I cannot recommend more. 
buying a liner brush because you can get some really, really thin lines with this thing. It's gorgeous. You have to make sure you take care of it though. Don't let it spread out. Okay, so blue, 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 blue. Every Thursday on my blog, rainfrancisart.com, I host a weekly art date. My brush isn't wet enough. Okay. I host a weekly art date and it's a themed art date, but you don't have to follow the prompts. It's just to get you thinking and challenging you a little bit. Now I want to make sure my brush is very wet here, but not overly wet, you know, I don't want drips because we're bringing that line down here. There we go. Purple's next. And my theme for this Thursday, as I splash water and paint everywhere, is purple. So that's why I thought I would do some purple balloons today. All right, into that purple. And let's do this one first. Yeah, let's do this one. It's gonna go behind. So let's say it comes out about here. All right. So I'll put the link. Well, the link is always in the description and in my about section for my blog. If you'd like to join in, I'd love to see your art there. We have a nice little art community. Everyone's so nice and they're so talented. Thursday art date. I usually post it on Wednesdays and there's a link. That's where you link up. I post it on Wednesdays so people have a chance and it's open for a week and everybody visits everybody and they're also supportive and it's really cool. There. So those are my watercolor balloons. That was so much fun. And really, that's the first time I've ever done something like this. That was a lot of fun and very relaxing. Well, my friends, I really hope that you enjoyed this art therapy session, painting watercolor balloons. That was so much fun for me. I love to challenge myself and try to do things that I've never done before. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment below. I would love to read your comments and I do answer every one that I get. Tell me, have you done this? Did you follow this tutorial? How are you doing in life? Let me know. You've been listening to me, so I want to listen to you. <laughs> Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Rain Francis Art. Thanks for watching again. Bye.